night at Bridge Villa campsite in Wallington. <coughs> Much drier this morning, pleased to say. <laughs> Day four, I think it's day four of the uh, Bridgeway, and it looks like another lovely day. It was 31 degrees yesterday, apparently. Not where I was, maybe, but um, and had a, a nice rest in Crowmarsh Gifford, a campsite there called Bridge Villa. No complaints at all. Wasn't as wet this morning as well with the dew, so uh, managed to get everything away quite well. Um, despite being up at 6:30 this morning, only just really getting going now. Um, had to walk into Wallingford, try to get a bus back to Goring. Where I stopped walking yesterday. Um, everybody looked at me as if I was asking a stupid question when I said, Does this bus go to Goring? <coughs> Even the bus driver on one was ignorant. Anyway, ended up getting a taxi. Last night I paid a taxi from Goring to. Wallingford of £10. Today it was £18. So, <laughs> don't know how that works. Anyway, I've just I had to have something to eat. I was really hungry because I didn't really have much at all yesterday other than little bits. Uh, so, just had some sandwiches, some cookies, and uh, now I'm about ready to go. But this place, Goring, is a beautiful place. On the River Thames. Expect these properties don't come cheap. So it's nearly half nine. I've got another 15 miler today. It's not getting any easier. <laughs> but uh, sign off for now, and I'll speak to you soon. River Thames in all its glory. Some enormous properties here. You don't have a car here, you have a, a cruiser as well. Outstanding place. 
There's a few millionaires live here. Western Railway Line from London to West Country. He loved the bridge, the old Isambard. It's pretty impressive, I've got to say. have a minute to take the weight off my feet. Um, it's 10 to 12. I'm up since 6.30 <laughs> I haven't made much progress. In fact I'm not far away from where I started this morning where I camped last night. Uh, so it all seems a bit ridiculous to go all the way back to walk back here but this is part of the route. I had to find a campsite last night. Uh, and I must admit, I really enjoyed the walk along the Thames and through the villages of um, High Stoke, uh, South Stoke and North Stoke. Absolutely glorious places. Where well, the last three days have been mainly in the uh, North Wessex Downs area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. That's a long name. This is the point really where you, after walking down the Thames Valley for about six miles, you cross into the Chilterns Downs area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. So I think the, uh, the landscape's going to be a little bit different, but nonetheless it's supposed to be very attractive and great walking country and yeah, looking forward to it. Nice wood, woodlands here. Um, there's a bit of road noise, so hopefully you can hear me. I don't think the uh, sound reproduction is brilliant with this little camera, this muffler. But anyway, it's by the by. Yesterday I mentioned a uh, hero of mine, my dad, and how I was a, a 
nod by arguing with him all the time instead of respecting his opinion thinking I know better because that's what sons do with their dads but anyway, I can't put that right um, but another person I respect massively and have huge admiration for my better half, Gabby she's somebody who's overcome and continues to battle with adversity she's one of the most incredible human beings I've ever known she's so talented nearly everything she does um, but incredibly kind and generous and giving of herself She'll support anybody. She's a very loyal person. She can't pass a homeless person in the street without giving them some food or some money. She cares too much about everything. <laughs> It'll be the downfall of her one day. But it's a quality that you, you can only admire really. But, despite still battling health issues, she's incredibly fit, incredibly determined. She works out every day. And I'm sure that helps with her health issues. But she puts blobs like me to shame, really. She spent nine years looking after her grandma after her granddad Jack died. She's always been very close to her grandparents. But grandma was in her early 80s when her husband died. And Gabby saw her through to her 90s. Yeah, as I was saying, she got her through to her 90s just by been there for her every day, put her own career on hold. Used to see to her in the mornings, then go to work. With the help of Malcolm, I looked after her in the evenings. But she managed her, her life selflessly. And uh, another trait of Gabby. Just had to cross a major road. <laughs> Thought it was probably best not to film it as I get killed. Uh, anyway, just finishing off about Gabby. She's uh, kick-started her career again, taking on a major role for a company, and she's absolutely flying at that as well. As I say, she's incredibly talented. I don't think there's anything she can't do. Her next uh, objective is to get a road bike and do some serious cycling. Which is a little bit worrying but I'm sure she'll take to it. I can see her winning a race or two in the next few years because she's very strong. And of course she's looked after me the last few years. Uh, I gave up work a few years ago and been muddling along with photography and Gabby's kept everything on an even keel and uh, I'm eternally grateful to her and there is just one other thing as well she is so good looking she gets better I'm a very fortunate man so Thank you for all your support. I love you very much. Now entry, entering the area called Grimm's Ditch follows an ancient ditch, probably dug by a bloke called 
Dave Grimm. I'm not so sure. Anyway, I'm here. Well, I started here. Well, actually, I started here. Got a taxi to here. And now I've walked to here. I'm hoping to get a cider in the field. And then I've got to get up to Watlington Hill before the end of the day. So still lots to do. Can you see that? That's Watlington Hill there. Lots to do. It's got a bit hazy, so it's not quite as hot as other days, which is good. Uh, so keep plodding on. This is Grimm's Ditch. As dug two and a half thousand years ago by Dave Grimm and his brother Colin. They were professional ditch diggers. Nobody knows why. Totally pointless. But in the Doomsday Book it says we're going to dig ditches so that in 2,000 years idiots can walk along it. Equally pointless. Hmm. So, thank you Dave and Colin Grimm. Quite interesting actually. It's like a little tunnel now. Oh, there goes the pool. Cider. In fact, in my mind, I was lining up two pints of cider. It's closed. So, four and a half miles to the campsite. And there is a pub on from there, about another half a mile. So whether I will get to the pub today, I don't know. But uh, you never count your chickens doing this. As I say, it's the hope that kills you. Speak to you soon. <laughs> mile of today. It's been uh, it's been interesting, it's quite varied unlike the first three days that sort of followed a similar pattern over those chalk downs. Today has been a, bit, a lot more variety. A lot of farmers fields, a lot of woods, woodland paths, a few more sh sh sharper hills like sharp ups and downs so got, got the old heart going a bit more today and of course there was the, uh, the riverside walk this morning along the, uh, the Thames which was absolutely superb 
So it's been a good day, but again, long and hard. The sun's shone, taking on gallons of water. Thankfully there was a tap to replenish. Disappointed the pub was closed. Um, I should be at the campsite in about 15 minutes now, so there is uh, a pub in Watlington. I wouldn't mind some hot food to be honest, I didn't have any yesterday and I haven't had any today. So I might wander down to the pub, but it is about another th three quarters of a mile from the campsite, so I'll have to see how I feel at that time when I've got the tent up, etc. and showered. But I'm planning on, if I'm feeling up to it, wandering down because I've been looking at a, a pint of cider in my head all day. So I've got to quench that craving, I think. But uh, that's nearly four days done. Tomorrow is the longest day in terms of mileage. So I need to make an earlier start tomorrow. I mean, I did have a lot of fannying about this morning. Problem is I've got the same fannying about tomorrow afternoon as well. So uh, it's gonna be another tiring day. And then the last day is a trundle. 11 miles. Been meeting Gabby a mile to go. Hopefully we'll walk the last mile together. So looking forward to that. Okay, so signing off for today. I'll uh, see you in the morning.